How rigorous is your training for upcoming matches? Um, I have to train two or three times a day, six days a week, so um, it's very, very intense. It can involve like running sessions, weight sessions, and then in the afternoon it's just boxing sessions, but it could be sparring or bags or pads or whatever, so um, yeah, I look forward to the rest day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and is your diet very strict? Um, it wouldn't be very strict now, it's just got to be a healthy, balanced diet, but um, I obviously have to make the lightweight um, category 60 kilograms or whatever it is, and so um, I have to kind of watch what I eat a few weeks before competition, but um, it's always hard to make the way the last kilo is always a killer to get off or do we starve them. <laughs> <laughs> and do you like, would you be very regular about your meals? Would you sit down and have breakfast and lunch and then dinner yeah, every day? Yeah, when I'm training I'm having regular meals every day. Um, mm -hmm. Breakfast, lunch, dinner and kind of a few snacks or whatever in between. But when I'm not training my, my diet's all over the place I think. I just, <laughs> I eat what I want and um, or whatever so. Yeah, for when I train, I have to kind of be this one or whatever and watch what I eat. And okay, um, Renewal would like to know, of all the fights in boxing history, which one would you might would Of all the fights in boxing history, which one would you most like to have attended and why? In boxing history? Yeah. Um, oh. You can be in the audience for one yeah, fight. Yeah, for one fight only. Um, I think I'd love to be in the audience for Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. I was uh, Rumble in the, in, in the Jungle. Yeah. So that, that was Rumble in the Jungle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so that was one of the best fights in history. And Muhammad Ali was the greatest boxer of all time, so that would be amazing to watch. I didn't know before last night that you played football. <laughs> for the country. <laughs> Barbarians here would like to know, do you prefer representing your country in soccer or uh, in boxing? Well, I think it's a big honour to represent your country in anything really. Mm. Um, well, I've, I've chose boxing, I've always chose boxing over football, it's always been my number one sport, but I was always very proud to represent my country in both sports and um, I'm something that I'm very proud of really. It's, but boxing is my number one sport and I always kind of chose that over the football, so, so yeah. Okay, fair enough. Your um, success in the amateurs is well regarded, but how do you think your style would hold up in the pro game? Also, do you watch pro women's boxing at all? And if so, how do you think the talent compares to the amateurs? That's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, I think I'd, I'd make a a good pro. I'm not sure we really. it. It's definitely a different game. Like professional boxing and amateur boxing are definitely um, different games. I mean, professional boxing, you're, it's just all about power punches and you're planting your feet or whatever, and you have to kind of pace yourself a lot more as well. Whereas amateur boxing is just so intense and it's only over four or two in rounds, and you're on your toes a lot more. You're on your feet. You have to use your feet a lot more in amateur boxing. So it is very different. And I would have to make a few adaptations if I was going to turn pro. But it's definitely, I um, think I have the power and the skill to, I think any good amateur really, um, always as well as a good pro, so mm. I think I'd have a, have a good chance of hopefully becoming a world professional champion if I ever turn pro. <laughs> and if you thought that question was hard, here's another one. Whilst recognising the standards, what, sorry, whilst recognising that standards continue to improve all the time, do you regard Sofia Ojigava from Russia, Gulsum Tatar of Turkey and possibly Queen Underwood of the USA as your main threats for London 2012, if you and they qualify? Or do you believe that an even bigger threat will emerge in the form of the many recent recruits from kickboxing, including Mary Del Carmen Romero and Britain's Chantal Cameron, to name but two? Um, I think definitely my main rivals over the next few years um, will be Sofia Ashigava uh, from Russia and Gulsum Tartar from Turkey. I've boxed her seven times and sportry to me, so we've always had really tough fights. And um, Queen of the World is always going to be a tough fight because she's always so strong. And then you have like the Chinese girls like Chen, Chen Don. Um, I think those girls. Anyone, anyone of us can win really. Um, it's always going to be a 50-50 fight going into those fights. Um, I boxed a few other kickboxers, like I said, Marion, what, 
Dunham. Mary Dunham. Um, right, I went to her last week actually, and um, I won. I won that fight. I wouldn't consider her. I don't know. No disrespect to her. I think she's no, very. Okay. <laughs> she's a, she's very tough. But um, yeah. I think the main uh, rivals are definitely going to come from um, the boxers who have got. Uh, good amateur background um, throughout the last few years, and um, we've had you know, that experience in the amateur game as well over the last few years. Um, kickboxing is a different sport to boxing as well, and um, they have to change their style a lot to, for amateur boxing as well. So they're, they're going to have, a, they're always going to have a bit of trouble, I think, with the with the good amateur boxers from the last few years. We're on the home stretch of questions. You'll be glad to hear. What does it feel like to come out to a crowd chanting your name? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a great. It's always a. Uh, I love boxing at home. Um, so it's always great. The atmosphere is always great. You know, when you have boxing at home, there the crowd is always amazing. So it's great. Who would you most like to take on competitively in the ring, past or present, male or female? Mm, I'd love to. I'd love to spar Manny Pacquiao just because he's the best boxer in the world right now. I'll get the hand punched off me, but <laughs> hopefully uh, he go easy on me. But I'd love to just be able to share a ring with like somebody happy or fly me where the, the greats of boxing today. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what part of your training do you hate the most? Roman sessions. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Absolutely hate Roman. <laughs> Your dad people are like this yeah. question. Um, do you think the way boxing is judged needs to be updated? In a recent fight where you were clearly the winner, you lost on a points decision. Your father Peter was fuming, and rightly so, as everyone in the arena that night knew you won, except the judges. Yeah, um, unfortunately that's amateur boxing. Sometimes it can, it can happen, you know. You go away to these countries and it's so hard to get a decision against them. And unfortunately, with boxing you're, you're dependent on the judges around the ring to be honest and fair. And sometimes you know, they're not fair at all and, um, and just in that particular tournament the judging was disgraceful really throughout the whole competition and I think the Bulgarians won everything really and, right. um, but it definitely something needs to be done and the judges, how, they, how, how those judges can get away with something like that I just don't understand at all really um, so it can just be a corrupt sport at times unfortunately but um, I think it's got it, it's harder in the main competitions, like so the the Olympics or whatever. It's harder for the judges to do that because you know it's um it's on the TV and everyone can see it happening. So mm. it's it's a lot harder for the judges to kind of be unfair like that. So, but it can happen sometimes, and that's boxing, unfortunately. Fair enough. What football team do you support, both at home and cross channel? Um, I'm a Leeds United. Um, okay. Legion Island, yeah. You're saying my dad's from the My dad's from me, it's actually so. Right. Um, so I, I was forced into it. <laughs> yeah. no, um, so and at home? At home, um, Bray Wanderers. Bray Wanderers, that's a good answer. We, we knew what that was going yeah. to be. Um, you might have answered this question already, and I'm sorry if you have, but who are your current Top three favourite fighters today, top three male and top three female. Um, top three male, f currently at the moment. Yes. Um, boxing, probably Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and um, your York is Gamboa from Cuba. Um, so they're, they're be, I think the three of them are just so exciting to watch and yeah, they're so skillful, brilliant to watch. Three women boxers, I'm not too sure anything else. Um, I wouldn't really watch a lot of pro boxing okay. in the women's game, so I'm not too sure of the women boxers who are right there at the end, so. Do you think Mayweather would be Pac-Man? Um, I don't know, I think that's a, the fight that everyone wants to see anyways. It would be an amazing fight, I think. Um, Fly by Rare Defense League is, is the best boxer around. He's so hard to hit. And, Manny Pacquiao is the most exciting boxer around, he's so fast and his feet and his legs, so I think it will be an amazing fight to watch, but I don't, I'm not sure he'll win between the two of them. Okay, and the second last question that I have for you is, does it bother you that your sporting achievements do not get the same exposure as your male counterparts do? And he follows it up with saying, personally I think Katie is the greatest sport, sports person this country has ever produced. Yeah, that's really, um, I'm, not, I'm 
not sure. Really. I think amateur um, boxing in this country just doesn't get the, the recognition it deserves. Really. Uh, we have Paddy Barnes, who's European champion, and Darren Neal, who's European silver medalist, but nobody in the country knows who they are. They just don't get the recognition that they deserve neither. And if their athletes are, you know, um, I don't know, like in other sports, they be kind of everyone would know who they are, but I don't know what it is in amateur boxing. We just don't get the recognition of that the boxers deserve, but that's not really, we don't really um, concentrate on that too much, we don't really worry about it too much, we just kind of get on with our training or whatever, and, and it's not really something that I'd be thinking about too often, so. You're about to face a room of, of, of nerds, no, that's yeah. not You're about to face a room of, of <laughs> online bloggers coming in to, yeah. to look at this ad and whatever. Do you get nervous before events like this? I mean, there's a difference between getting up in front of people and then um, um, going into a yeah. ring, obviously. Boxing's definitely a lot easier than getting up in front of a crowd of people and answering questions. But, uh, oh, no, that's, I'm not too nervous. I don't think they're all yeah, good. Yeah, they're all I'm sure they are. Do you have anything to say to the members of Boards that for their support? Yeah, I just uh, thanks very much for all the support. I really appreciate it. And, um, just glad that everyone in the country has given me over the last few years. It's the second, the second to none, really. And it really means a lot to me. So thanks very much, everyone, for, for the support. Katie Taylor, you are as ever brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. So. Um, my yes moment would probably be in the semi-finals of the last World Championships when I was going for my third world title. I was boxing against a um, really tough American opponent, Queen Underwood was her name. And, um, the first two rounds went really okay for me, but I was just getting more and more tired in the fight. And in the last round, then um, she she came back to 16 all and just to push through in the last 30 seconds and to get those last two points and really push through and just to to get those two points really to, to get the win in the end was definitely um, a career defining moment for me and that had to be my, my yes moments.